guys, welcome back to another quick fire questions with Hazel. And today's topic is going to be enzymes. I'm going to be talking about, I'm going to be asking you questions about what affects enzymes activity. We're going to be looking at the structure of an enzyme and digestive enzymes. So as before, what you want to do is um, pause my video after every question, write down your answer, start that video again, and then you'll be able to see if your answer matches my answer because I'm going to be trying to give you the highest scoring answer possible. So, first question is, what is an enzyme? An enzyme is a biological catalyst which speeds up the rate of reaction without being used up in that chemical reaction. Number two, what type of biological molecules do enzymes belong to? That was really badly worded. I hope you get the idea. They are examples of proteins. Question three. What is the name of the specific site on the enzyme where the substance binds to? And that is the active site. Question four. What is the name given to the substance which binds to the enzyme? And we call it the substrate. Question five. What is the name of the substance which gets released after the enzyme's finished working on it? And that is the product. Explain why increasing the temperature to a certain extent increases the rate of enzyme activity. And what you want to say here is it's a question relating to collision theory in chemistry. So you're going to talk about the fact that the enzyme and the substrate molecules have more kinetic energy, so they collide more often and therefore enzyme activity increases. What is the name given to the enzyme when it's working at its maximum level? And we say that those conditions are optimum. I hope that question made sense. I just wanted to shove the word optimum in somewhere and I realised that I didn't word that very well. What happens to an enzyme if the temperature rises too high or the pH differs too much? The enzyme is denatured and that means that its active side changes shape. Do not say that the enzyme is killed. You will not get marks if you say that. Which enzyme is responsible for breaking down starch and that is amylase. What is the product produced when amylase acts upon starch? And the answer here is either glucose or maltose, it doesn't matter what you say. Where is amylase made? In the salivary gland, small intestine and pancreas. What does protease do? Protease breaks down proteins into amino acids. Where is protease made? In the stomach, small intestine and pancreas. What is the role of lipase? Lipase breaks down fats or lipids, to give them their more scientific name, into both fatty acids and glycerol. Do try and spell glycerol correctly there. Where is lipase made? It's made in the small intestine and the pancreas. Right, I think I've asked all the questions. I'm just going to touch on enzymes in industrial processes. So give two places where enzymes can be used in industry. And the sorts of answers you're looking for here is in baby foods. They contain proteases to help pre-digest the protein because babies' digestive systems aren't that good. And also you find enzymes in washing powders. And, that, and what that means is you can lower the temperature at which you wash your clothes at and actually have a better finish so the clothes come out cleaner. So that is everything I wanted to say on enzymes. Really hope I've remembered everything. Um, I'll be back soon with another video. Don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel. Bye guys.